you know, I really want to make a video today, but I think before we start, let me get food really quick because it's already in line. I'm really hungry. So today's video is going to be about immigration, and it's not about like visa immigration, but it's going to be about the immigration experience at the counters. So when you're flying out and when you're flying into the US those immigration experiences so i've flown a couple of times and like i have never had experiences like bad experiences with the immigration guy at the counter but i did have like a couple of two bad experiences while i was flying out of the us and this time when i was flying into the us so let me tell you about both of those experiences I've been flying out for like four, five, six years almost now. I flew the first time in 2012, and that was when I was flying from Jaipur to Mumbai. But like last time when I was flying into the US, that was August of 2017. So I was flying from Delhi to Chicago airport, and I was flying through IGI. IGI is the Indira Gandhi International Airport, and I was at the Emirates counter. That's where the whole story started. Alright, here's the thing. This happened on August 10, 2017 when I was flying from India to the US. I was flying for the first time from New Delhi to Chicago and it was amazing because I've never flew to United States before. I was flying from Emirates for obvious reasons because I love them. Uh, they upgraded me to business class once, that's why. And I was hoping there was, wouldn't be any trouble. I just hand out my passport, give it, give my ticket like, and they'll give me boarding pass for Delhi to Dubai and Dubai to Chicago. That was a pretty normal procedure. But what happened, they told me that you have been picked up for a random custom check. Now, I've never had this problem before or I've never had a case where I've heard from a friend that I was picked up for a random custom check, in India at least. And this was, this was totally new to me. They told me that we can't give you boarding passes until your custom check has been cleared and will not even like send your luggage to the flights. So it was totally random. I went to the custom office. It was a small office. There were like three officers there. There were two, three people along with me as well. Uh, these people were also people who were picked up for a random custom check. The Emirates guy who was there with me, who was carrying my boarding pass to that custom person was carrying my luggage as well. I went there and I was like, I just asked for a reason. Why did they pick me up out of all these people? They told me, sir, your name was picked up by the computer because you travel too much. I haven't traveled in a whole year that time because I was taking a gap year. But in the four years previous to that, because I was studying in Thailand, I traveled a couple of times. There was nothing a big of chaos here. They just checked my bags. There was a security machine. They put my bags in there. They checked for stuff if there is something. They checked my check-in bags, they check my carry-on bag, they check my laptop bag, pretty normal stuff, gave me my boarding pass, asked me to go through security again. I went through the security and I was good to go. When I flew into the US in August 2017, at the immigration counter, it was super smooth. They didn't even ask me for my I-20, which was good. They just checked my passport, scanned it through and told me, welcome to the US. Pretty exciting stuff. My sister was there to pick me up at the Chicago ORD airport. So it was nice. It was nice to be from home to home. But the real story starts last month. That was June of 2018. Wait, let me tell you what happened. So in June of 2018, wow, that was unnecessary. In June of 2018, I was flying back from India to the US because I went for a month for vacationing. And I went there, but I was waiting in the line and I saw a pattern that every time a student was coming to the immigration counter, they were scanning their passports, they were checking their I-20 and they were asking them to just stand in a bunch. So after every immigration line, you go to the counter, you stand in a bunch and there is a 
officer which collect the passport from the immigration officer who's sitting there and will take you to some place i didn't know by that time standing there my turn came up they scanned my passport they took my i20 and that guy told me oh i have another student and they passed the passport and the i20 to that other officer i went i went along with the line and i stood in the bunch there were six students i'm guessing and those six students along with other students from other immigration lines went to the us customs and border protection office yes i think i got it right anyway we went to that office the officer escorted us to that office and asked us to sit there they had my passport they had my i20 and they said that we are checking your statuses there's no need to worry and I saw that there was no need to worry. There was 50 students along with me. It was just not F1 students. There was F1 students, J1 students. There were other, I think like even people from B1, B2. And there was a pilot as well, which was really strange for me. Anyway, I was sitting there, I was waiting there, waiting there, waiting there. After every like six to seven minutes, a lady or an officer comes up with like some passports and I-20 and they hand a hand out to the students. They call their names, they hand out to the students. The reason why I'm telling you all of this is so that when this happens to you, you don't get scared. That's the whole point of like telling you that I was picked up for a random custom check at the IGI airport and I was picked up at the US Chicago airport for a random custom check again. I know a lot of you are traveling for the first time. Um, it hardly scares me now because I've flown so many times but sometimes it is scary if you're flying for the first time. I was waiting there for one and a half hours. My brother-in-law was planning to come pick me up. He was continuously calling me but I couldn't even use my phone there because there was a strict policy that you can't use your phone because it's just like a security issue, right? You can't record all of that stuff. So there was a strict policy of no phones and after one and a half hours, officer came up, told me, here's your passport, here's your I-20. Thanks for waiting, you can go now. I was happy. If this happens to you, don't be scared. This is a normal procedure which they might be doing and on that specific day. Because there's a lot of students which are going and I'm assuming, I'm assuming this, I can't quote this, that this happened just for the reason since a lot of students are traveling in and out at this time when they are graduating or when they're starting their jobs. So they just need to have like a cross check thing to make sure that students have their visas correct. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys for watching. My Instagram is linked down below. I told this story already on my Instagram like almost a month ago. So if you're not following me, you should follow me there. And I hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.